Before you begin, make sure that the medium has been prepared and the flask is already in the incubator to warm up and equilibrate with the CO2. While the medium is warming up, it is a good time to get the rest of your equipment ready. Make sure you know the exact location of your vials before getting to the liquid nitrogen tank. Picking up the cells. Prepare a box full of dry ice. Standard ice will not be sufficient to prevent the thawing from already starting. Quickly place the vials in the dry ice. Put the rest of the vials back into the liquid nitrogen tank. To vent the vial, slightly open the cap about a quarter of a turn. Close it and immediately place it back into the dry ice. When all the vials have been collected, close the liquid nitrogen tank and proceed with the thawing step. Before you begin, make sure that the water bath has a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. From this point on, the timing is critical. The box containing the vials should be located just next to the water bath. Thaw only one vial at a time. The other vials will remain in the dry ice until the cells of this vial have been transferred into the incubator. Do not submerge the vial completely, but make sure the water level is reaching just under the cap, as you can see here. Slowly move the vial in the water bath for about two minutes. At this point, remove it from the water bath and take a quick look to assess the status. If the content of the vial is completely thawed, or if only a tiny ice cube is left in the vial, Proceed with starting the culture. Place the vial on a tissue and spray it with a validated disinfectant. Very lightly wipe the vial. Place the vial vertically in the center of the laminar and dispose of the paper used for disinfecting the vial. Pre-open the vial before picking up the pipette. Also, if not already done, pre-open the cap of the culture flask. Before picking up the cells, gently pipette the content of the vial up and down only one or two times, not more. Transfer the cells in the flask gently, the tip of the pipette deep in the medium. When the cells are in the flask, close it, place it flat, and spread the cells evenly by sliding the flask in a figure eight motion. The flask is ready to be placed in the incubator. You may now proceed with the exact same steps for the other vials that you may have to prepare. Take home message. A good preparation, along with an appropriate speed and good technique, will make your cells happy. <laughs> <laughs>